Hello everybody, uh, my name is Guillaume Follet from Reflexo Labs and today I want to show you around how to use the Rye main, main application. <clears throat> okay, so first before we start, I recommend to everybody to go to reflexo.finance, uh, our main website, go to resources and click FAQ here. So if you go through this uh, this webpage, this will probably answer most of the question you have on Rye. It's explaining what it is, what how it behaves, and why is it interesting. And um, yeah, so you, you will learn a lot by going through this document. <clears throat> okay, so now let's get started by minting some Rye. So you need to go on app.reflexor.finance. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I will do that on Kovan. So I will add dash Kovan here. But if you access app.reflexo.finance, this will be on mainnet with real ether. So feel free to yourself do as well some, uh, some testing on, on Kovan if you are not used to use uh, decentralized application. Uh, yeah. On Kovan, it's fake money, and it's it's gonna be it's not gonna cost you any anything in gas and and so on. Uh, if you need some Kovan Ether, ping me on Discord, or look for a full set online. All right. <clears throat> so the the first time I access the the website, um, I need to go through an onboarding procedure and to create an account. So one thing to know is that if you used uh, MakerDAO Oasis before, uh, you won't need, you will not need to have the steps. Uh, this is because we are reusing their proxy registry, and to save users some gas, um, you would not need to to create uh, create an account, which is in fact a, a proxy, right? So my account here is funded with some some ethers, and uh, let's get started. Create account, uh, MetaMask uh, transaction. I click confirm, and that's it. Now the transaction is submitted. I can check its status on Etherscan. It's currently pending, and yeah, I need I need to wait. <clears throat> so it seems that my transaction just got confirmed, and uh, for safety reason, we need to wait 10 blocks confirmation. So let's be let's be a little bit patient. And in the meantime, I want to to show you how to use. Uh, I mean, I want to show you the the dashboard at stats.reflexor.finance. So if you go on that website, this is on this is the the dashboard with some stats on mainnet. Uh, you can see a few interesting numbers about the protocol. So like the total. Uh, the TVL in Ether, there is currently 1,700 Ether into the system, the outstanding RAI, but also some more advanced metrics such as the redemption rate, so the rate at which RAI is reprised, and plenty of other things, <clears throat> the number of saves currently active, the market price of RAI, etc., etc., the Oracle price, and some graph of the redemption price, the RAI supply, and more. I won't explain those in detail now, but uh, just know that it's there if you want to know how the system is doing. All right, so it looks like my proxy was just created. The transaction here confirmed and 10 blocks passed. So <clears throat> the next step is to create uh, is to create a safe. So let's create a safe. And now I have to choose how much Ether I am depositing in collateral, and how much Rye do I need to borrow? Okay, so let's say I'm depositing uh, three Ether, and um, I want to borrow um, 800 Rye. So as you can see, if I deposit three Ether, I can borrow to a maximum of 1,100 Rye. Um, which I would not recommend doing because you will be very close to your, the liquidation ratio. So a few of the number that, that matters here. Um, um, the, the most important one is the collateralization ratio, right? So if 
in this configuration, I have 214% color degradation ratio. And this number here needs to be above 145. If I try to borrow, for example, 1,500, I am at 114 colorization ratio. And if I try to confirm, it will say right borrow cannot exceed available amount. <clears throat> so yeah, this is something very important that you will have to you will have to manage your colorization ratio. If ether fails in price, this will go down, and you might be you might get liquidated and pay this 12% penalty. All right. Another thing you should know is that there is a minimum uh, right that you need to borrow. Uh, if I try to borrow only 200, even though I'm very safe from my colorization ratio, I can't borrow that because there is a there is a minimum depth that you need to draw. And uh, on Kovan, it's 500 dry. However, on mainnet, I believe it's 800 dry. So if you plan on to doing that on mainnet, I really recommend going with at least three ether in because you will have to borrow at least 800 dry. And with three ether and 800 dry to borrow, you are fairly safe. You are at 314% liquidation ratio and you will get liquidated if ether price fall below 1,200. I believe right now it's around 1,700, 1,800. So you have a pretty big margin here if you if you do that. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and let's deposit three ether and borrow 800 rye. Confirmation. Please review that everything is correct. That your uh, characterization ratio is reasonable. And click confirm. MetaMask will show up. Blah blah blah. Confirm. Okay, so now my transaction should be pending. Let's open up EtherScan to verify my transaction. The transaction has been included and will show up here in a little moment. <clears throat> and boom. Okay, so quick look at EtherScan first. This is a transaction just I just made. I can see that I am sending three Ether and that I am receiving in exchange uh, 800 rye. So these are on my balance here now, and they should show up in MetaMask right here. They don't, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so back to the, the main application. I can see that I have now one safe, uh, safe number 10 that I just created and I can see some of its properties now. So let's expand that. And here I am. So this is the main safe management interface. Uh, I can see my current color degradation ratio and my liquidation price. So these are the thing that you should monitor. Uh, if uh, your color degradation ratio goes down, you should consider adding more collateral or repaying part of your debt to increase it. Uh, the liquidation price might change as well. So if Ether falls below this price, I will get liquidated. And um, what liquidation means? Um, it means that my all of my collateral and my debt will be taken away and put up for sale in the system and you will get back uh, collateral, like the collateral left once the system repaid your debt minus the liquidation penalty of 12%. <clears throat> so you're gonna pay at least more than, than 12% in, uh, in case you get liquidated. So you, you, don't, you don't want that. Uh, these are just the Ether price, the current Ether price, and the current redemption price. So, yeah, I let you read up on the FAQ about what is the redemption price and how it fluctuates and what it does. Uh, yeah. Okay, so from here, I can add up more collateral if I want. So, let's say I add up one Ether. So, my collateralization ratio will go up to 
or I can borrow more rye if I wish, and this will make my collectivization ratio go down. You can also repay your debt and uh, and or withdraw or take away take out your collateral. So let let's do that quickly. Um, I want I will not repay my debt, but I want to let's say withdraw 0.2 of ether collateral. And yeah, here when you repay, you cannot. Uh, you cannot repay your debt if it goes below the, the debt floor of 500, which is 800 on, on mainnet like before. So let's just repay 10 here. Uh, you need to, you will have to approve RAI first. Wait for the confirmation of this transaction. And yeah, it should go through quickly on Kovan. Okay, so the transaction succeeded. Tick. And it showed up here. And now I can uh, make my repayment and withdraw some Ether collateral. All right, <clears throat> uh, one last thing you should know, uh, this application connects to the blockchain through uh, either an RPC endpoint or a subgraph here. By default, it should be the subgraph, but uh, you can with the subgraph you have more data for example here is my the safe history where i can see all the moves i made and yeah if you if you want you can choose to rely on infra with the with the subgraph all right that's it for this video thank you for listening and uh, yeah see you on discord or telegram bye bye